Welcome back to Alma, Missouri for episode 24 with me, Mr. CDP. Ladies and gentlemen, as you've just seen, I've been doing a bit of feeding of the cows. We had a potato harvest contract on, what field was it? Uh, field 26, just there. We've got two fertilising contracts that have just come up. I'm going to do those off camera. There we go. Field 10, field 34, both pay out rather well. And as you know, because we're already producing our own fertiliser, where's our fertiliser production? Down into those two silos. We've got plenty of fertiliser on hand. Did I go around and jet wash my vehicles? I think I did. I've gone around and cleaned everything up. I've been very efficient. Um, so I'm partway through my daily sales, um, but left over from the potato contract we had. I can't remember how many potatoes. How much? Is that 33? 33,100. Start the engine. Offload those. They might as well go in here. We can keep our soups chugging away. That's great. I haven't done my methane sales yet and haven't done the sales over at the in, in the sort of the main town. So I'm going to head off and do those, then get the fertising done. Um, weirdly, and I keep checking because I'm, I'm starting to panic, I'm not going to lie. Um, <laughs> down, no, back up to the top, there we go. We come to here. Uh, these fields are going to be ready to go next. Our big cornfield <laughs> doesn't seem to be getting any closer to fully grown. Um, this rate is going to be well, I was thinking September, but that will go into the darkest one. Then what? We're into October. I don't know. Like I said the other day, it seems to be taking a very long time for my corn to grow. So I did double check my growth. It's growing. <laughs> I haven't paused it or anything like that, like I did before. It just seems to be taking a very long time. Um, and I've said numerous times now as well, that's what I'm aiming for. I want to get that corn harvest done because that kind of completes everything we're doing. I still haven't decided where I'm going to go from here. Obviously, um, Court Farm finished. This one will finish at, you know, at some point, like any Let's Play does. Um, I'm doing odd episodes on the Floor is Lava, the Forest Challenge map. Um, because that was never intended to be a sort of full-blown daily Let's Play. That was going to be a kind of every now and again when I've had a bit of time and I've managed to <laughs> get a load of forestry done. A video goes up on that. Um, there's a lot of time between episodes because it's taking a long time to do the forestry. 
which is you know, part and parcel of doing it. So I, I really don't know, usually what happens when you're getting towards the end of a Let's Play, or the end of two Let's Plays, or whatever it is you're, you're doing, there'll be a map on the horizon that you've already seen and think, right, that's my next map, that's what I want to do. And like I said before, there are some quality maps out there, but normally you'll get a new one pops up that everyone's clamouring to do. Um, but I don't, I just, I don't know at the moment. I'm very kind of, hmm, not sure. Um, I was tipped the wink a little while ago about Lucas Island coming, CAS 64, but I got a message today or it might have been yesterday, but I read the message today, um, saying it's not likely to come to console now um, due to um, some sort of health issues and bits and bobs. It's taken a while for it to be ready, but also they're talking about the procedures that are in place from Giants to get things to console are quite long-winded and quite difficult, so the chances are it's not going to come to console this time, um, which is a pity. It's a real shame. Um, but I get it, I totally understand, you know, there, there seems to be, and I've said this many times, this sort of feeling that just just mods generally, that we're entitled to mods. We're not entitled to mods at all. Um, the fact there's mod support and the fact there's modders out there is a, is a bonus, it's a boon, it's, we're lucky to have it. Um, the fact that if they come to PC easier than console... That's great for PC gamers. Um, again, but again, no one's entitled to them. You know, we, we get them if we get them. And I do get messages quite a lot. If there might be a day or two days with no mods, and I'm getting people bombarding me. Where are the mods? Where are the mods? There are thousands and thousands of mods in the mod hub. There are hundreds of maps in the mod hub. Um, it's not the end of the world if we don't get any mods. And I'll, I will go back to FS17. On FS15, um, when we went from... Um, no mods on FS15 on console, to FS17 we started to get mods. And, and when I started doing mod reviews, we would have some days where there was a mod. Literally one mod. You might go two or three days, nothing, you might get another mod. And that was normal, that was, you know, and people were quite happy with that because we'd gone from nothing to having some mods. So it was that thing of, this is great, we've got mods now. Now, if we're not getting 20, 30, 40 mods a day, people get really annoyed and, I'm, you know, so I, I totally understand you know, if if and when you know modders bring stuff out, that's great. Um, I do often get asked if a specific thing will be coming to the game. Will it be modded? I don't, I don't know. There are hundreds and hundreds of modders out there that are making mods. Whether they're going to mod something that you particularly want, I honestly, you know, I don't know. I, I'm just very much of the opinion. I just kind of we sit back and when they come, they come, and you just take it as that, you know. I'm happy to receive them, and when I do my mod reviews, I just think, and that's why I try and push as much as I can when I'm talking about 3 meter cultivators, and of late I've been looking at the intricate detail and much more on mods, and people say, oh, why are you so excited about another shed? And like I've said before, because someone's put a lot of time into that, you know, and that should not be taken for granted. Anyway, that's my mod rant. <laughs> it wasn't really a rant. Um, now I'm going to do my sales up here, then I'll whiz over to the biogas plant, we'll grab today's methane, get that sorted. I might show a little bit of a start of fertilising. I'm hoping, oh yes, I've got to transport all of my, uh, my coffee over to the sale point, because the roasting is going well. I need to double check this actually to make sure it's coming from my greenhouses over here, no problem at all. What have we got? Coffee bean raw, 45,000 litres. Really? And on top of what's sitting there, we've got another 3,600. This runs at quite a rate. And quite clearly the greenhouses do as well. That's a lot of coffee bean. We're going to become a coffee king. Can you be a coffee magnate? I suppose there are people that own plantations and, I don't know, Mr. and Mrs. Nescafe, whoever they are, I don't know. And their children, Gold Blend and Blend 37. Lovely family. Right, I'm going to go and sort this out. I'll see you in a minute.
Deliveries made, payments collected, 592,000 in the bank with a couple of big contracts to do. And we'll do field 34 first, that's just along here, opposite the other farm. And then field 10 is just north of our farm. I've done that one a few times, fertilising on camera. I'm going to do the whole field, so it was over. So I'm in my head now, I'm trying to decide. Let's open that up. Um, what to do... I'm just trying to decide whether or not to just, you know what, bite the bullet, jump ahead. Like I've said before, when you, you miss contracts, when big contracts come up, you know, oh, I could have done that, I could have done that. Um, we're making okay money every month now. I say okay money, we're making very good money every month now. That coffee production, wow. I mean, whoa, impressive stuff. Actually, I probably should have turned to it already, but come alongside Field 34 now, aren't we? Let's do that and that. It's all right, we can just turn in off here, I think. So, um... I don't know whether or not to just jump ahead. I should have gone already onto the field, shouldn't I? No, I'll wait for a proper entrance. I could go through the ditch, but that's a bit... A bit excessive. Bump out of there. Yeah, I should have gone to the field way back there. So I don't know now, I'm, I'm just, I'm really... I don't know. Probably should just jump ahead and get the corn harvest done, because all I'm doing now is my daily stuff. Um, the coffee, putting the coffee production in, that was something different. And again, that was something I wasn't intending on doing. It was because a particular contract I was expecting to do didn't come up. I didn't get the contract for it, which is fine. Um, so I did that instead. But I guess now it is going to be a cycle of, I've got some fertilising to do here, and two other fields ready to go. Um, and that is my target, the corn. So I think I'm probably going to jump head to there. Let's get this turned on get it going so this is going to take a fair bit but like i said we've got plenty being produced we've got plenty and that's why i wanted to get those productions running on the farm to make our own fertilizer um, because it goes much further in this form than it does as digestate or slurry or manure and we can make a tidy bit of money on the big fields doing it so that's where we're at that's what i said i'd you know i'd show you a little bit of me doing this we'll just come out and get the fields done and I, I need to mull some things, I think. Um, that's not to say, you know what I'm like, if a contract comes up and I'm looking thinking, you know what, that's too good to pass up. So you may see another couple of the old um, the payment contract screens before I see you again. <laughs> but then when I see you again, potentially, I mean, we should be way better off. If I jump a month ahead, that's another two days of selling stuff and payments. And if we get another contracts come up, I reckon we could be knocking on the door of, I mean, dare I say a million? Could we knock on the door of a million? Um, I've looked at stuff for sale today, second-hand used market. There's not really much I'm interested in. There's a couple of little things here and there. A couple of front mowers, stuff like that. Nothing drastic or amazing or phenomenal. So that's fine. If I do get any big harvests pop up cheap, I, I might, I don't know. I'm still toying with getting the other two ones that I'm talking about. But again, the thumbnail may give that away, depending on how far through we go with this. Um, but again, as I was saying, with, with doing stuff in between, Flora's Lava and stuff like this, I'd be then looking at potentially to get this episode out. Could be, I don't know, 10, 15 hours of behind the scenes stuff to get there, unless I just go jump, 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 bang, and do it, you know. So it's, you know, that's on me. That's, you know however I decide to do it. So I will see you in a little while. Probably a bit richer, hopefully a little bit richer. And then we can either, we might just afford to just buy two brand new standard harvesters. I say standard, there's nothing, there's nothing. The Omitana ones, they're harvesters. You know, if they'd have just come out as a harvester pack, um, it's because they haven't got brands on them or anything like that. I think people are very much, oh, well, they're not proper harvesters. Of course they are. They're harvesters. They have the lizard brand, so it just, you know. Anyway. See you later on. I was just on my way back through the town, having done today's methane delivery. It said great demand. I got paid exactly the same amount as I got paid the day before, which is a bit weird, unless the price has dropped and then there was a great demand. But I suddenly thought, oh, you know, I haven't checked. I haven't checked the um, used vehicles today. And when I did, well, you'll see. Let's go into uh, here. Where are we? There we go. Look, there's an international. 
which I've got already. But it's 46% off, which brings it down to 20 grand. And even if I get a load of extra bits and bobs on it, I've got the money. Having two of these would be quite handy. I can have one for my tanker, one for my um, trailer. And no, no, again, it's that kind of first. If you've got one lorry, you bounce your lorry between your, your trailers. But if I can have two, and for 20 grand, why not? Let's increase increase the fleet. Let's go. So, uh, though it is a horrible morning. I mean, to be fair, it's quarter seven, so it's quite early. Uh, so I'm thinking I'm going to get one of those. I just wanted to show you. I didn't want to just suddenly again, next part of the episode, all of a sudden I've got another vehicle. And like, hang on, where did that come from? Um, I think I'm going to go standard again. I don't need to go service pack or anything. We can change things if you want to. Engine setup adds 19 grand on, but when it's 20 already, take it up to 850 horsepower. Why not? I just think it makes perfect sense. So I'll do the rest of my fiddle around, um, but I just wanted to show you um, that's what I've got. That's what I'm doing. I don't think I think I'm, I think I left the other one standard, didn't I? That does look pretty cool though. The case wheels. Hmm. That's epic. Do I go with an epic one? I think I just I just left it on Continentals. But I have to say they do look pretty cool. I might go for one a bit more beefy, I think, this time. Today is that day. It's October 1. We have got rain on the way, actually. I better check the weather forecast for that. When's that coming? Oh, 9 o'clock, really? Well, no, this is 9 till 10. Oh, that's right. A brief, a brief shower, hopefully. Um, I'm not going to put you through the, the trials and tribulations of me doing my daily selling, but as you've seen on the previous couple of clips, fertilising contracts got done. I had a ploughing contract, which I got done. We're up to 990,000, and I did say I thought we'd get to a million. So with what we sell today, we'll be up over a million. Um, I was thinking maybe get another tractor. I was hoping something cool would come up in the daily sales, but there's nothing there. Um, what I will do, I'll just grab the box, so I'm not going to put you through it. But what I did purchase, again, did I show you that? I think there was a little clip. I've been doing all these little mini clips all over the place. Let's put that just there for a minute. Um, I bought a plough. I leased one of those, didn't I, for doing a ploughing contract, and that came up for sale for, was it 48% off or 58%, whatever it was, I can't remember now. Um, so that was vastly cheaper. So that's in my big cultivator as well. Our corn is ready to go. Finally. So I'm thinking, once I've done my daily sales, um, I'll have a look and we'll see about our harvesters. I'm, I'm, I'm still go, I think I'm going to go down the route I originally said I was going to do. But this is the, this is the day I've been waiting for. I had another one of those weird happenings as well. Uh, field 30 here was ready to harvest with carrots. And I thought, right, get my carrot harvester out there, get all over that, get a load more carrots into the soup factory. Didn't come up. 
Um, it sat and sat and sat, ready to harvest, ready to harvest, and then boom, harvested. So it's again, none of those things. Can't do a lot about it. Our alfalfa is ready to go again, which is fantastic. But um, I think we're okay for the time being. I'll see you once I've sold all my daily sellings of things. There we go. We're up. We're over a million. It won't last. I'm going to spend a load of it. Actually, <laughs> I know I'll see you again in a minute. I will do. Um, I, did I say in the previous episode, or did I say earlier? I don't think I did. Um, our sheep reproduced. Oh, I've got a whole load of this. I need to take some of this over as well for our fabric production. Um, so, yeah, we've got 66 in here now. And our cows have reproduced. So we've got um, 150 in here now. Did we start with 50? The ones we saved from over the way? I think we did, didn't we? So that might be three times then. But anyway, we've got 150 cows in there now, which is awesome. So milk production's going great. We've got a load of slurry. I need to take that over to the biogas plant. Probably need to do the bedding. 15,000 litres of milk. I haven't done that for a couple of days because I kind of skipped ahead. Um, but anyway, just to show you and tell you that um, our sheep and our cows have reproduced. I think that might be all of it for there. It's 7.36. We're up at the store. Everything for today is sold. We're up to 1,140,590. Let's spend some money. It's that time. And I'm going to do what I said. Um, so, if we go in. I will, I will double check again. Yeah, I've got these two have come up, which is a bit weird. Two of the same. Anyway doesn't matter let's go and have a look at our harvesters i'm gonna go now i could oh, i've got enough money i could buy i could buy two of those the colossus harvesters but the point was i was going to try and save a bit of money oh no i mean to be fair <laughs> no because then i'll tune them right up i'll, I'll go all lunatic on them but in all essence, it's, it's, it's Alexian, isn't it? But 180 grand cheaper. Oh, what do I do? I was going to come in and just get one of these. Or two of those. I was going to get two of those and two headers. That was the plan. 10,000 litres on each. Do I spend 600,000 on two of these? Well, then there's the headers as well, so... Could be eight hundred thousand, as opposed to spending three hundred grand. <laughs> no. Uh, again, this was not the plan. I came in here with a very specific idea of what I was going to do. I mean, to me, that base model, as is, is a nine hundred horsepower, fifteen thousand liter tank capacity. Again, this is you'll already know from the thumbnail. <laughs> I don't yet because I haven't made the decision yet. <clears throat> no, I can't. I just suddenly realised I can't because I need some money. I need some money because we're doing the big corn harvest. I've got this corn has got to be spread around everything. This has got to be grain meal, corn dryer, and to the um, the popcorn factory. That was the whole point. We we're going to have a look at doing popcorn, and I think. Is it butter popcorn? I think we can do butter popcorn as well. So if I buy two of those and their headers, will that leave me enough to buy the factory as well? Our first one has been delivered. I'm driving the second one up. <laughs> I did go for these in the end. I bought two corn headers. We're going to have to get uh, standard headers at some point as well. But we have got corn headers. So three harvesters, almost all the same. I did go for a slightly larger capacity. I think there's some of the John Deere ones. Is it by custom modding? I always forget. It might be custom modding. They go up to a 20, oh, 20 something thousand, 25, 24 thousand. So I went up from the 15,000 to a 30 on these. 
because it's not ridiculously unrealistic. I haven't gone like, you know, 500,000 litre or anything like that. Um, standard header width, these are not um, 25, 50 metre unrealistic header widths or anything like that. But I have gone for one of each. I didn't get the header trainers actually thinking about it. I did for my first one, didn't I? But didn't for these. Probably should have done. I've kind of gone, not quite John Deere in all honesty. Um, I'm going to set that on 10, I think. I've gone for sort of a John Deere header colour, although satin, a green satin. I wasn't going to go full John Deere on them. I thought, no, we won't go John Deere. We've got a John Deere. But I, I, you know I like my green, so I'll start that up. I've gone for green and gun metal, but I've gone for a sort of John Deere on the headers. Is that one open. Let's go with that one open. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to set these off. Um, actually, no, I'm, I'm going to set this off. And I'm going to go around the um, outsides with one of the others, I think. So what I'm going to do is start this one off. So, let's go. Seems like it's been such a long time coming. I have no idea how much we're going to get off these. A lot, I would imagine. Did I go for the 10 mile an hour header? 11... Yeah, I did, didn't I? I was thinking, it seemed a bit weird. I, I, I suddenly thought, I didn't go unrealistic on these, did I? I'm sure I didn't. So what I'm going to do is when I get to a point where I know I can turn and go straight up the field, I'm going to set the worker off. And then I'm going to get the other one to start going as well, again up and down. And then the third one, I'm going to go around the outskirts. And we'll see how we get on. I don't know if I'm going to get... Mm, that's a good point. Will I get to the end and back with this one? Set it off. Let's go and get the next one. And then I will share the love with all the corn. It was literally yesterday. It was September 2. Um, I ran out of... Is it corn flour or fine corn flour? One of the, one of the flowers I ran out of at my bakery. The sweet cornbread had already stopped, so whichever one the first one was, but it just ran out. Which is typical, isn't it, really? But only a day out to get going with these, so. Do the same with this one. I just hope they turn in this off sensible direction we're about to find out aren't we? let's go i was asked if i was going to silage harvest some of this so, no nope, absolutely not i'm going to uh we, i want the corn i've got silage i've got silage bales i've got plenty of stuff we shouldn't have to worry about that oh it's not finished Turn it on. Let's get some more lights on so we can see a bit better. And let's get around the edges. I'm hoping now with three harvesters running, we should make fairly light work of it, even though it's a fairly large field. I've got a nice big plough, I've got a nice big cultivator. So as far as re-prepping it again for whatever I'm going to repurpose it for. Something we have been short on this year, and I've found on this map a lot, we've had a lot of root crops planted and growing. We had parsnip, we've had carrot, we've had sugar beet, we've had potato. What we haven't had much of, we've got a little bit of canola, or oh, I've taken on one pea harvest. I do have a pea harvest to do. Um, but what we haven't had, any wheat, we've had no barley, we've had no normal, let's say normal crops, you know what I mean? Um, it's just been interesting. I will move out of this way. Actually, I've just probably caused a problem, haven't I? So he just stopped working. Yep, of course he has. And the other one's turned back this way as well. Brilliant.
quite. So what I'll do is just stop the engine there. Hop in, start it up. Since the other one's turned in as well, though hopefully that John Deere fills up, the pipe will be on the correct side now. So I'll set this one off to do this patch and then we'll just work our way across the field. Excellent, that's that guy going. There you go. So the John Deere's got a full grain tank. Which means, actually, you know what? I'll swap. So I'll swap them over. Get this one running because it's got a larger tank. Then I'll take the other one, and we'll go and grab ourselves a trailer. I've got my standard trailer, and I've got the um, lorry. I didn't end up showing you tonight my second international that I bought. I went for a sort of satiny blue with the, the chunky tyres. And that's on my um, trailer, my grain hauling trailer. I was hoping I'd get like a lot off of this. Considering I did all my fertilizing, my cultivating, my liming, all the stuff that I was supposed to do and um, and I extended the field I widened it I joined it onto the second one I'm, I'm hoping for a lot um, like I say fingers crossed on that but it's kind of the plan Start up. There we go so what we'll do just for the time being, to the piping, follow him back. When he comes out the end, we'll just we'll pop out, go and get ourselves a trailer. These don't fold these headers, so I can't. Uh, I thought if I could fold it, I could whiz up his outside, but I won't. I did look at, because they had this track option for those ones as well. I, mean, I couldn't change them because it was zero. So I'm, I'm, I went for the Terra track because it was more Lexian looking, but I don't know actually. I like, I like this track type, more triangular. I might swap them out, you know. If you see them later on, I don't go into my alfalfa field too much. Yeah. Next time you see them, I might have swapped them out. I might whiz over and get the toolbox. Bring the toolbox out and do a bit of <laughs> infield maintenance is the wrong word. Swapping out entire track units is not maintenance. That's what I'll do. I'll open it up here. That way I can carry on coming. So as I said, I went for blue, we've got the chunkier tyres. Again, with my other international, I went quite standard. Um, but I like these tyres. I might swap out... I might swap out my other one for these. I do like them. I've gone for the same bumper. The flappers won't work for another one, so I've just gone for straight exhaust on this one. Do I go back to the toolbox? I'm thinking yes. Nope. 
can't allow that. Cannot allow that. I would not sleep tonight if I let that. There we go. So, coming up on our left. Now, I've done. <laughs> I'm doing that old person thing again. I'm doing it's like that old person. It's that Mr. CP thing, isn't it? That I always do. Am I misremembering? Was there not a song? It was an instrumental, wasn't it? Called Popcorn. Mr. CP's nodding to my right. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do it. In, I'm not gonna do the song. I can hear it in my head. But what I hear in my head is not what comes out of my mouth, generally speaking. I do the same when I'm reading books. Does anyone else do this? When you're reading books, do you read a book and you read it with the accents? Especially if it, if it intimates who, who they are and what their nationalities are, you often read in your head with an accent. When I worked at the school, you try doing that out loud. Your brain makes you think you can do all sorts of fantastic accents until you try them. It doesn't work. Not always, unless you're very good at that kind of thing. So, popcorn should be here, shouldn't it? Yeah, 60 grand. There we go. Building has been purchased. Popcorn? And butter popcorn. Oh, you absolute. <sighs> and breathe. Okay, this does not take regular corn. I need to take all of my corn, of what I've got at the moment, because I was going to do one load here, one load into the corn dryer. It all needs to go to the corn dryer, because this will only take dried corn, which of course it makes sense, doesn't it, if you're making popcorn. You don't just bring reg like regular sweet corn, corn sort of thing here. Right, blown it, that's the main thing. Let's get this to the corn dry and unloaded. Is this a good idea, out, out, backing out onto the main road? Probably not. Know what the traffic's like here on Elma. Oh no, there's a dip there. I caught that on the way in. It's a bigger curb than I thought. This needs to be drive-through. Drive-through popcorn factory. Right, corn dryer, let's go. I'm finding this very curious. This one, both of them have the high horsepower, both my internationals. This one, the only difference is it's got the chunkier tyres. It seems to be struggling to pull a full load. The other one never really seemed to, to worry. The tyres are... Oh, it doesn't make sense. A little bit higher off the ground, maybe? I don't know. Let's get the corn dry going. I think must be on the rear one first. Yep. Let's get that going. And this is one of those ones where I can never remember where the trigger is. The other ones have all got doors and things. This one doesn't, does it? So what I can do. Maybe I can go into here. Where's my dryer? There we go, corn dryer. Let's get that going. That, that, that. I'll go back for the next load. So the next load I bring up, I'll do what? Oh no. I need to get back because if we're harvesting, we will lose yield in the rain. If my harvesters are still running, I'm hoping they're, they're all full. I need to get back and get those un uh, stopped immediately and get them covered. Oh no! Run away!
Right, I'm bringing the corn off the field. Harvesters are all closed up until the rain stops. It's showing a cloud top right already, so the rain's not going to be around too long, hopefully. Uh, what I'm going to do is put the first load into the grain mill, but the back I'm going to put into the dryer as well, because more of what we're doing, two-thirds of what we're doing, needs to be dried. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Um, what I need to be able to do now is put this back on, which is here, isn't it? There we go. Uh, so, we want our corn flour going. That just requires corn. So that's good. We've got some corn in. That's cracking away. Uh, so I'll put the rest over into the corn dryer. Some will come here, some will go to the popcorn factory. And then what else we get off the field, I'll then work out how to distribute that to try and get an even balance. Oh, the other thing I need to do as well, I need to get a front compartment of sugar uh, sugar beet and a rear compartment of sugar beet cut because our all-in-one production has run out so it's not producing sugar anymore. Um, so I probably do with doing that. Um, I suppose while it's raining I can whiz over to the silos and I can collect that stuff whenever I want. So what we'll do is just stop in there, do that, that, that. Okay, that unloading. Uh, then what I'll do, I'm going to go grab the, um, actually, you know what, while that's unloading, I can leave the, the bottom bits open, so if any water comes in, it can just pour out the bottom. And what we'll do is I'm going to set the butter that's in here, we should have a fair bit of it. Yeah, same butter, 9,000 litres, but over here, I guarantee the bakery has hardly got any. You watch, you have loads now. <laughs> it's since you bounce around all over the place, it's really weird. Oh, yeah, 6,000 litres, so it is, yeah. How strange. Now, the problem I've got at the moment, because there's no, been no wheat, no barley, no oats, no contracts for those, my flour, my regular flour, is going to start to run out. Um, so what I might do is, I mean, not that we're probably going to get onto it, but what I might do is put that big field we've just done with corn, I might do a wheat, a barley, or an oat harvest. Um, I suppose the best thing to do is look at the prices, what's paying well, but it doesn't matter if I'm going to be using it for making... Um, flour anyway. Yeah, it doesn't really matter, does it? I'm just, I'll have a look at the map. I'm pretty sure it's, it's very... He says, look. <laughs> How's that looking? Oh, it's going to be ages yet. We do, yeah, we do have a lot of um, root crops. That's the field we've got the pea harvest on. We need to go and do that. But we've got, yeah, we've got parsnip, we've got sugar beet, we got, well, that's showing carrot, but has that been repurposed as carrot again? Yeah, it's how weird. That was the carrot harvest that never happened. And that seems to have stayed as um, red beet. Right, anyway, I digress. Uh, let me get the butter out of here. Yeah, so there at the moment it's on distributing. So if I put that onto storing, that should have put five out. I think it's got room for five. Then put that back onto distributing. There you go. Let me come back out. There we go. So what I'll do is I'll move those by forklift. We'll take those up to the popcorn factory. Where did I put the forklift? I put it back over there, didn't I? Because I wasn't using it. I was just using my um, my mobile cell point. Let's grab that. Get some butter over there. Once the call, I might, I might hang around for a little while. Oh no! I know. And so I said I need to go back and get some sugar beet. The sugar beet cut. Put the lights on that. Do that. And then I'll come back and hopefully by the time that's all done I'll have some dried corn. I can't remember how fast that production runs, pretty quickly. Yeah. I'm overlapping by quite a bit. Quite a lot. Not way too high. That's a bit better than it was. Right. Let's get those over to the popcorn factory. Oh, so I'm here to deliver. Now, what I'm going to double check, and there's something saying about distribution. There was 9,000 litres of butter sat in the all-in-one production, set on distributing. We've just gone past the hour. I hadn't noticed we'd just gone past the hour. And because we own this now, some of that butter should have distributed out here. How much has distributed out here? 34 litres of 9,000 that was sat there. Why? 
why does it not move 3,000 litres? Or it's just, I don't know. There'll be coding. I know there'll be coding behind it. But it's just odd. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Right, this needs to go. I don't know. Mm, I think it's over by the doors, but that might be where the production's come out. I'll just drive around slowly until... Oh, there we go. Oh, cool. One more to go and get. And then, like I say, hopefully the rain will stop and uh, we're good to carry on. I want the factory at least running. In the next episode, hopefully we'll see what our results are. We'll have some popcorn. But it'll just be bot. Of course it'll just be packed. But it'll say it on there and, you know, at the end of the day, it's just another step forward. I have just received my first of our dry corn. The rain has stopped. It's 20 past 11. Harvesters are going. My um, John Deere is already full, but they are plugging away. The rain stopped about 10, 15 minutes ago, so I thought I'd get the harvesters going first. I bought the sugar beet and sugar beet cut over, so that's now processing. Uh, the money has gone up a little bit. When I was taking over the butter, I suddenly thought I'd better check on the ketchup production because that's been running out of water as well. Um, when I went to check on it, it had 26,000 litres of ketchup waiting for distribution. And that's only distributing to my pizzeria. So I checked the pizzeria and the pizzeria is full. So it is just keeping it topped up. So I thought, well, with 26,000 litres of tomato ketchup sat there, if I put some of that on storing, I can get some pallets out and sell some. So I've got eight pallets out. I, mean, I could have done way more. I could have done 20 pallets out. But I've got eight pallets out. I bought those down, sold those. So the money's gone up a little bit. Um, actually, it's not raining, so it'll be all right. I was just saying, when it was pouring with rain, <laughs> get my dried corn, which we spent a fortune, I say a fortune, put our propane in to sell, uh, to sell, to dry, and then bring it out in the wet. Brilliant move. So, this is all going to come in here to start off with. And the great thing now is, because we have butter, and we have corn, we can do popcorn, and we can do butter popcorn. And we've already seen the butter popcorn is worth a fortune. <laughs> so... Oh, they're both running anyway. Oh, they were on red, weren't they? So they're both running, and I mean, cycles per month, 2,400, 2,400. The recipes are quite low, four to two, four to three. Uh, but we've got one litre of each, apparently. Right, I'm going to head back to the field, get my next load of corn, and I've got to decide, again, my ratio. What I might do is front one, or one of them, into, into the dryer, one of them into our... Um, flour making into a grain mill. The thing I was going to say, you know I said my flour, I'd run out of flour or run out of products for my flour. When I was checking on the grain mill and I dropped off the first load of corn to get my dry or my corn flour going, I've got sorghum in there and it was switched off. I don't remember turning it off. I'm not quite sure how that happened. So I've got a load of sorghum in there. So I've turned that back on again. So we should be alright for flour for a little while. Like I say, until we can get another crop going anyway. Right, so the end of this episode will be when we find out just how much corn we got off that. I mean, to be fair, I won't have a total because I've already, I've already delivered some. We've got, although I've just taken some out, it worked out about 120,000 litres of corn in the corn dryer. I don't know, I've delivered a few bits here and there anyway. Um, but at least we'll know. We'll have a load of stuff all chugging away. I haven't checked a what? Look where you're going.
11.38 and apart from the brief interlude for rain, the harvesters smashed it. Having three harvesters made a massive, massive difference. The John Deere is full, the other two aren't, but that's fine. Let's undo, undo, undo that. Turn that one on. Let's turn this one on. Let's see what we've ended up with. Oh, too far over. Brilliant move. There we go. Okay, that one unloads and then we'll get this over. And what I'll do is... Once again, farm dog intervenes. Uh, I'm trying to... What was I saying? Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm going to take this over and we'll work out, once we're over there, how much we've got. I mean, roughly, like I said, we've already taken some dried corn, but um, we'll get an idea. I'll, I'll try and split it as equal as I can into thirds. Obviously, more of it will go to the corn dryer initially. forward do that and we can close that up um, I haven't really got a home for these now if I have I've filled up most of my space in my large shed there um, my first harvester went in the um, concept but there's not really a lot of room in there now I'll tidy this up I'll think of something I'm considering another greenhouse <laughs> only because my greenhouse at the moment has got pineapples in this split isn't it is that the one that split I can't remember which one one of them split doing two items um, so what I might do is um, put a third one in so I can have one greenhouse for each thing I know it's extravagant it's a bit over the top but we'll see and I might get um, header trailers for our corn headers I mean I probably could have just leased the corn headers I didn't need to buy them if I do another big corn harvest, bearing in mind we've got a lot of things that require corn, it's the sort of thing like I've said before, Millennial Farmer, Cole the Corn Style, most of those guys, they will do uh, corn and soybean, year after year after year after year, corn, soybean, corn, soybean. But obviously I know in game people want to see different crops being grown and different crops being harvested and different machinery being used. Um, but realistically, because in the town now I've got so, many, so much stuff that requires corn, um, it's only really my cows that I'm using straw for, so for getting wheat and barley. I mean, that being said, I am making flour. So wheat, barley, oat would be something I would need to look at as well. And my greenhouses are producing the other things. So, um, yeah, it's... Uh, do I go for more corn in here again? I really pr well, should probably put another crop in it just for crop rotation. That was something a lot of people have talked about as well with regard to FS... whatever it might be, 25 because we had seasons by Realismus Modding and the Realismus Modding version had crop rotation. And depending on your crop rotation and what crops preceded and then followed um, would depend on your yields as well. And obviously the Giants version of seasons didn't have that, but a lot of people have been talking about it would be cool to get crop rotation back again. Um, yeah, I don't know, I, I think, you know, Giants are, are, are treading a fine line, and they have to tread a fine line in that they want the game to be playable, they want it to be fun and immersive, they want people from all aspects of gameplay to enjoy it. If you want to go realistically, you can go realistically. If you want to have a bit more fun, you can have a bit more fun. And I suppose there's that worry if you put too much stuff in the base game that's overly, not overly complicated, but it is complicated for your players that have been playing for a long long time many many years and have gone through the progression that's fine because that's just another thing you can take on board and say I want to use that if you're brand new to the game it's overwhelming the amount of stuff that you can do so I guess they have to kind of try and tread a, a line but anyway, I'll see you up there in a minute we'll get these unloaded and we'll see what we've ended up with and then I say next episode we'll see what, what our popcorn and our butter popcorn looks like I'm going to make you start on what I'm going to do with that field um, I've got to decide what I'm going to do next because this was in my head. This was the end. This was what I was aiming towards. Um, I know I've been banging on about it. I know I have. And, uh, but that was the, the corn harvest. I wanted to get the popcorn factory, and, and that was it. Um, so I, I don't really know. We, we're close to the end, I think. It's just be a case of mopping up, I suppose. A bit of tidying, a bit of looking at what we've done and what we've achieved, and go from there I think but like I said in last episode or was it earlier in this episode I don't know where I'm going next I honestly I have no idea hmm okay all unloaded I haven't actually looked at my figures yet now if I've done this right or if I've done it 
even close, which I'm hoping I have. Um, we should have what we've we got in here. Yeah, so I had some sorghum. 48,000 litres of sorghum in here, which was switched off. But anyway, corn, 88,401. So that's going to be made into corn flour. So in my dryer, if I've split it accurately-ish, I want to have about 190,000. No. 180... 180,000, something like that. Yeah, 180,000. 88 in there, about 180,000. Half of the dried corn will come here to make fine corn flour, and half of the dried corn will go to the popcorn factory. That splits it pretty much into thirds. 90 in there, 88 in there, 90, yeah, something like that. So, have we come close to that? And I've already done some dried corn already. 177, so... Yeah, a few thousand shy. I mean, we're, we're almost there. So once that's processed, and we have already taken some dry corn over, um, we'll do our split. And like I say, a third for regular corn flour, a third for fine corn flour, a third over to the popcorn factory, and we're good as gold. We have got a pea harvest to do, which I'm going to... I'll probably do that in the next episode. If I roll straight into the next one after this one, um, we'll grab our harvest, and we'll go out and do the pea harvest, and... Um, yeah, like I say, maybe a bit of tied up and stuff. But anyway, that is the end of this episode. We finally got there. I <laughs> hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching. <laughs>